Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, Internet's Busiest Music Nerd, dropping a couple of quick iPhone reviews today. Doing it raw, doing it uncut, doing it dirty. And one of the first records that I'm going to be talking about today is this new self-titled Brain Tentacles album, which I've been listening to on and off for the past couple of weeks. And uh, this was a pretty interesting metal project, just came out on Relapse Records. And there's a bit of a concept behind this whole thing. It is most definitely a metal record, can't deny that, it's a true blue metal album, but uh, rather than it sort of being your standard electric guitar, bass, drum sort of affair, uh, it is bass, drums, and uh, like saxophone. Um, you know, just horns uh, replacing the guitars entirely. Pretty much everything that a guitar would be doing on a metal record, horns are doing instead. And um, I mean, they take on the job pretty well, you know, they're blaring, they're loud, they're in your face, uh, they're very aggressive, very aggressive horn playing on this thing. I will say I went into this album expecting more of kind of a jazzy freakout, uh, sort of along the lines of like a Naked City or something John Zorn related, uh, something like that, but I did not get that. This felt more like kind of a standard metal affair, like, oh hey, this is like a death metal song, but just like the guitars are replaced by horns. Uh, although I will say not every track on this album takes on a death metal vibe, and um, even though the band does sort of seem to be limited in their instrumental choices, uh, they do perform a variety of different metal styles across the record. There are moodier and more spacey tracks on this thing, uh, songs that I, I guess you could probably say take on a sludgier tone or a more progressive tone. Uh, some moments involve vocals on this thing, but a great deal of the record is instrumental. Um, and some of the writing is decent, but uh, I, I think just a lot of what could have been potentially the quality of this record is kind of bogged down in the instrumental gimmick that it presents so readily, so excitedly. Um, I will say that even though it is a gimmick and it's a very obvious gimmick, um, <laughs> it is very fun and it is an entertaining album. And in some ways I do think it is a little tongue-in-cheek and it is jokey, uh, and the band certainly seems to be uh, uh, aware of that fact. Um, especially given that if you, I think, pick up this record on Bandcamp, you get this really long, extended, like, crank call outro to the final track that just kind of is the cherry on top to how ridiculous this record is. You know, if there was ever a question from the beginning to the end of the record that is, is the band not really taking themselves that seriously? It's, it's certainly that crank call moment that sort of proves to you, oh, okay, you know, they're not, they're not taking themselves too seriously. So, you know, go into this record expecting to hear something kind of wild, off the wall, fun. It's a metal record that, you know, um, is is kind of clowning the audience, I think, a little bit, but, you know, some some good production and some uh, serious performances and, and virtuosity went to a lot of these tracks, too. So, you know, um, I would say it's, it's not quite a joke. Uh, maybe it's a semi-joke, um, but a joke or not, it's a lot of it's very well crafted. So, uh, very gimmicky, very fun, but uh, I, I guess if eventually you listen to it enough times that you can kind of get past the fact that, you know, uh, you're hearing just horns instead of guitars, which in a metal capacity, while they are a decent replacement on this record, they are kind of limited in a way. Um, if you ever listen to this album enough times, uh, you may get past that and sort of enjoy this record sort of as the horn-infused metal album that uh, that it is. Uh, but those are my thoughts, my quick thoughts on this album. What did you think of this thing if you gave it a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? Was it too gimmicky for you? Did you think it was ridiculous? Did you think it was trash? Or uh, did you think uh, what I saw a lot of people saying about this album, that it's like this new frontier, that it's totally experimental, it's refreshing, it's uh, really challenging, it's um, um, taking a new approach? Uh, let me know down in the comments. And uh, also, if I haven't said it, what should I review next? And uh, I will see you guys in the next review forever.